Excellent. Let's get started. So thank you, Melissa, for joining on this uh, Microsoft 365 feature demo show series. I don't know what we call this. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, this time uh, we have Melissa here. Um, before we go to the feature, can you do a quick intro of who you are and, and what are you doing for a living? Hi, everyone. My name is Melissa Torres. I am a PM manager on the SharePoint Experiences team, and my team is responsible for everything in the page, SharePoint pages and news posts from the from creation, authoring to publishing experience. Yeah, that's a lot of lot of awesome features rolling out on that section right now, which is great to see. So in this video, what's the new feature? What are we going to cover today? Well, I am super excited to showcase that we are bringing co-authoring, the ability to, for multiple authors to edit the same page at the same time to life. And this will be rolling out very soon. And so this will make it so that no longer do you have to take turns and will streamline your process to creating your pages. So we're very, very excited to, to finally roll this out and show it to you how it works. Yeah, I, th I think we've been using that internally. For example, for weekly summaries, we're using that all the time. So there's multiple people editing the page at the same time. Is it almost like the same as you know editing Word at the same time if we reference to other products? Absolutely. So we are taking, we're trying to learn from where, you know, follow the patterns that the rest of our office is doing. So just like you experience in Word or in PowerPoint, you'll notice a lot of the same experience we've basically taken and put it into pages as well. So just cool. the same familiarity should be there. Excellent. Um, I've seen this, but let's actually jump on the live demo because I, I think those who haven't seen this will, will be super, super excited. And we have three friends uh, behind of the scenes. Uh, actually uh, helping us on this demo. Right, Melissa? Yes, yes. The rest of the SharePoint Pages PM team is helping us because if you wanted to show you co-authoring, you know, we have to show it with multiple people, not just me. And so you get to see how, how to experience it. Cool. So I can see three other people on the page. Um, and uh, how does this work in practice? Can we walk this through? Yes. So it'll be, uh, you You don't have to do anything to enter it. Just click edit like you do today on any page or news post once the feature lands in your organization. And then at the very top, you'll see the presence here. And if I hover over, it'll tell me the people who are actively editing on this page. And not only do I see them, but I can see what they're working on, which is great. So that gives you a sense of, again, who's working on this page and who you can re reach out to if you need to. As you scroll down, you start seeing where people are. So we highlight the presence so that you can see, hey, oh, Caitlin's currently working on this. Now, multiple people can edit the same page as you can see and the same section at the same time, but not the same web part. So while Caitlin is there, if I try to edit something, you'll get a little toast telling me that, you know, she's currently editing this. Um, but a little toast tells you who's working on what. And down below here, you can see that Adele is doing it as well. And so just yeah. like that, and again, following the patterns, you're probably familiar in Word and PowerPoint. It'll feel like the same experience um, we brought it here. And yeah, that's what it looks like. This is really cool. And, and of course, it has the locking mechanism, same way as PowerPoint Power, uh, point has, that like you like, were like, showing. Now that Megan, I love that Megan is always in our demos, by the way, but Megan is uh, editing the design section. Uh, you cannot modify that as it showed. Uh, so I have to ask, as we're watching this page, uh, the common questions, obvious, we talked about this one when we started recording, what's going to happen if you now publish uh, as other people are still editing? And what are those kind of a common questions uh, or challenges on, on the implementation? How does this work? Well, what a great question. Yes. Uh, so we get this question a lot whenever we talk about this great feature. And what happens is if I try to go ahead and click post and send right now to this, what it's going to do, it's going to warn me that, hey, there are other people actively editing this and you might not want to, you might want to finish. Now, with that said, we didn't want to block people because in many cases, you know, what if you really needed to get it out? Although eh, maybe you shouldn't. Um, but we we warn you that there are others and to come kind of come back later, but you can publish anyway. And so we still give you the, the option to go ahead and continue. And then if you're wondering like, well, what does Caitlin and Sharon and Sarah see? Well, what they'll get is they will get pushed into what we call kind of read mode, view mode. Um, and they'll, but they'll also see a notification that will let them know, hey, Melissa published this page and that's why you were kind of kicked out. Yeah, yeah, Make, makes perfect sense. And, and then they're, they're basically editing the next version of the page, right? So it's the following version. 
Yeah, they, they will get kicked out, but then there's nothing to stop them from clicking edit again and going back in. And then at that point, yes, they okay. would be editing the next version of the page. And then they from there, they can go. Cool. This is really, really cool. A really awesome features and great to see that this is coming out because we've been using this internally for a while and it really increases the productivity of the teams. So awesome stuff. Now let's, let's in a typical way, as we always talk about within these shows, what, what about the future? Um, is this now, is the V1 already fully functioning? Uh, of course it's functioning, otherwise we wouldn't roll it out, right? But if, is it all of the feature complete? Are we adding new features on the co-offering? Or in general, what, what I, how does the, modern pages and portals look like in the future? Yeah, uh, what a great question. So for in the co-authoring space, this is our, uh, as you can see, we're going to get the full feature, yes, uh, working on all pages and news posts. Um, even if you have scheduling and approvals enabled in your pages library, um, co-authoring will work there as well. We made sure of that as well. And you'll get the same similar experience um, that that I saw that you saw um, here. In terms of kind of where do we go next, where I think the next big thing that as you all you start using this feature, you'll you'll be like, oh, what you know? Won't it be great if I would actually be able to leave comments in here for Sarah and Caitlin about, hey, I really liked how you wrote this, but maybe you should change this, or we, you know, yep. I need this person to add this section. So the next thing we're starting to think about and start working on is what we're calling inline commenting, just like you see in Word and PowerPoint, and bringing this, bringing that to this experience uh, with the commenting as well as the mentions, so you can say, hey. Let me, I mentioned this person because I need them to provide input or review the content and that stuff. So that's, yeah. that would see, that would be the, the next uh, big thing. We are considering whether in the future um, to enable like authoring of uh, within multiple people within the web part, but that's feedback. We'd love to hear from you of how important that would be. Yeah, that gets, I can imagine, I'm a bit of a technical background person. So I would start immediately thinking, how would we even implement that? That would be a tricky. <laughs> So, because then it would be overlapping with other person's changes. So, so the kind of a section by section locking, like in PowerPoint as well, makes perfect sense. Yeah, I think it's a good start. Like um, a lot of folks, you know, will probably gravitate to when they're working together on pages. What we hear is like, hey, this person's doing this section at top and this person's doing this yep. other section or this person's doing this blurb and they have their own text box. So we believe that what we have right now will address honestly most of the scenarios, but we're definitely open to hearing uh, what what other things people want to see. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Now, are there any other features which are super excited is coming on the portals and pages area which we can a bit tease out uh, for the future? Ooh, or is it all yes. can't talk uh, about this stuff yet? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited um, about, uh, I think there was a video coming out soon or it came out already around design ideas. Yes. Uh, you know, co-authoring will enable you to pad all your content and be you know, completely seamless and not have to take turns anymore and add your content, but design ideas will take your content and make it look great. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, we yeah. have a lot of improvements we're doing to, since a lot of the demo you saw today had to do with the a rich text editor experience. We're really focused on making that great and awesome and bringing some additional capabilities into that experience. And so I'm very excited to see that because I know that's been some ask from top asks from our customers. And then yep. further out, uh, and uh, this is also in our roadmap, though, um, you know, flex layouts, I think, uh, or I think we might call it flex sections, uh, is the feature that will give you access to the 12 column grid, no longer having to, you know, handle only the, the three columns we give you today. And I think that's really going to empower authors to create some awesome looking pages and really engaging in visual pages that will set things apart. And so... Uh, there's more, there's definitely more features. Uh, I could keep going, but that's just kind of like the top ones that are in my head right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, yeah, there's so many cool features coming up on this one. One step at a time. And, and I love the fact that we're kind of gradually rolling out features, which is the, the right way of doing things. And then always collecting feedback. So anybody who's watching the video or reading the blog post and all of that, please, please, please give us feedback. We're building all of these features for you so that you can benefit out of them. So, so if you like something, if you don't like something, let us know and we'll adjust uh, the features based on that. Absolutely. And if I could just say like, you know, co-authoring is a huge change to our, our editing surface. Uh, it's and uh, yes, please share the feedback. Let us know what you like, if there's anything that we could be doing better. Um, if you run into any issues, yeah, we're, we're all ears. Um, and so excited to take 
to have you all start using it because as Vasa said, we've been using it for a very long time. Um, so we're excited to get this out, uh, but totally open to, to you know, uh, what you all think. Excellent. But thank you, Melissa, on joining on this one. We'll get you back on the when the next uh, set of new features are coming out for sure uh, to create a new uh, additional new video. But thank you for joining. Really cool stuff. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thanks, everyone.